Oh, hi YouTube, it's Pastor Pete here again, and I uh, just thought I'd give you a quick stack update. I've picked up a few uh, bits and pieces over the last uh, few months that I wanted to show you. Um, okay, the first one that I wanted to to show you is this. Um, or is this American Silver Eagle? It's a coloured one, and it's got the pentagram sign on it. Now. Um, found out quite a bit about these coins. I found this in my local coin shop uh, for just a little bit over spot and um, I was doing a bit of investigation on it and uh, th these are kind of limited mintage. This one's from 2007 and I think they're quite pretty coins and they, they do have a bit of a premium. Uh, when I went back into the coin shop a few weeks later these had gone up by £10, which um, is quite a high premium for the UK. But Yeah, I bought three of these at the time and I flipped two of them for uh, about 10 quid each profit. So I was quite pleased with that. And uh, it's one of the reasons I've bought a bit more silver, because I've flipped a couple of these. So that's, that's that. We've got this uh, 2013 Eagle. And uh, my Freedom Girl. I don't mind the Silver Bullet Silver Shield uh, series. This is my favourite one of them. It's, uh, I had to get this one shipped over from America. I do think that they're a very pretty coin. Yeah, so it's a pretty design. I think uh, Chris has done well with these. Okay, so I've got a few three pandas. This one's a 2011 panda with young. I quite like this design. The reason I went for these was that it was my local coin shop has these 11s at the same price as the 12s and 13s, so that's the main reason I went for these ones. But I also managed to pick this little bad boy up from the local coin shop for 15 quid, it's 1993. Um, so I was quite pleased with that, it's a nice little addition. This little 1993 Panda. Okay. Got four of these uh, Australian koala with the Berlin Bear Privy 2011, and uh, yeah, got these from uh, from the internet. These are one of the first purchases I made, as they've got better bullion or semi numismatic value with the mintage of 50,000 on these. They were made for the Berlin show. I think they're quite a nice coin with the uh, Bear and Young on them. Four of those, and I've also got the 2012 edition of that coin. And uh, yeah, I've been quite pleased with these. This one's got a little koala asleep on the branch. I've got five of those. I did have, I did have five of these, but I tested the market on eBay and. Managed to get about six or seven pound profit on these 2011 coins because they are sold out now at all the shops and the mint. And quite a nice little flip. Okay, this is one I've recently bought. This is 2011 kangaroo. One of the uh, got this from a shop in the UK. They're quite a rare coin. Silver Frosted Royal Australian Mint 2011 and uh, as you can see that's a 20,000 mintage um, quite a nice little thing I thought managed to pick these up relatively inexpensive for not much of a premium I think they're going to be worth a bit later in addition I managed to find this first day cover Australian Kookaburra with a 1994 ounce of silver on it for not much over spot which I was quite impressed with um, it was being sold by a stamp collector 
for not much money over spot so I thought it was a really good really good buy it makes it look a lot bigger my silver collection when it's laid out on the table don't you think so I'm quite impressed with that okay these were quite a nice little buy I just bought these for a five pound premium over spot locally 2008 year of the mouse so I'm quite impressed with these and uh, I think they're a, a lovely coin Not th you don't see many of these in Britain in fact I think the uh, I haven't seen any from any UK when you stick an eBay search and you can't find them they're very rare in Britain at the moment and I bought these for probably about a five pound premium over the silver price so five of them so I was impressed with them they're going to be a great investment and a few pickups recently this is a 2009 hooker bro that I got off eBay for for cheap it was one of those auctions where no one was really that interested and I picked it up really cheaply so I was really chuffed with that nice little coin little birthday present from mum and dad for my uh, birthday recently, 2011 Cucabra. My local shop's doing these almost at the spot value with plus the VAT. So I picked up two of these for my birthday, so that was very kind. Thank you, Mum and Dad, for those. I don't think they're the prettiest uh, Cucabra design, the 11s, but for the money, they're great value. And uh, one that you're all familiar with, 2013 Cucabra. Very pretty coin. My girlfriend really likes these. She thinks they're a great little coin. She likes the design of them. Very nice. Okay, yeah, uh, my 2013 Britannia. <laughs> and on to my Austrian Philharmonic. One of the very first coins I bought when it was up at 30 quid or something. It wasn't a cheap coin, but it was kind of spot at the time. And then these coins, these grizzlies, I've seen that these are getting quite rare now. So I thought I would pick up, pick up one before I can't complete my set. So yeah, I like these coins, they're fantastic. Canadian grizzly. And a Canadian antelope. Let me get this to focus. Oh, there we go. And the wood bison. I've also got the cougar in this uh, series, but the girlfriend's got it in her set, so it's been really nice that my girlfriend's become really interested as well, so I'm really, you know, I'm honoured that she wants to be involved. And then last but not least, my 2011 Canadian maple leaf, so there you go, let me see if I can get it all in, it's growing quite nicely. I've probably been stacking for about six or seven months now. I'm up to about 32 ounces, which I'm really pleased with. I keep adding and flipping and and just um, really enjoying my collection. So please like and subscribe and comment. And uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you next time.